Where is here? Trains are a mode of travel here. Very viable mode of travel. So we made the decision to walk. We're gonna try to use our map, figure this out. Can't be too hard. I mean, the uh, sun still travels in the southern hemisphere here. It still sets in the west, rises in the east. If we get lost, we'll eventually find our way. Oh, there it is. Found it. That's where we're going. They got these incredible landmarks everywhere. Well, navigating these streets is certainly not like navigating at home. I'll just follow the lady with the map. Look at this place. A really nice statue right up there. So we made it to the right street. Right now, it's feeling like a pretty long street. So it'll fit us. Directly across the hall is the bedrooms. Tiny doors. But they work. So here it is. Another smaller bedroom. Back. Very tiny. That building there is a statue of David. There's a line up there of people. Romantic cities on Earth. Okay, so we are uh, we're walking the streets right here in old part of Florence, and uh, we're just thinking about who else walked these streets. My sister Audrey, for starters. <laughs> My sister Michelle. And there's a couple other people that you guys might have heard of, Da Vinci. Michelangelo, you know, they walk these streets too, so that's all pretty good. Well, I've got to say there are a few impressive things in Florence, Italy, for sure. So I don't know what statue that is behind me, but I'm sure it has something to do with Jesus' story. <laughs> the, the halo is what's giving it away. Laser focused. Laser focus on the bridge. We are on the Ponto Vecchio Bridge. All these stores alongside jewelry stores. I mean, look at that. Once again, I am mesmerized with everything that goes on here. So uh, I'm here with the Statue David. It's my birthday. And uh, yeah, feeling pretty blessed here. My God, look at the size of this guy. He's massive. So Michelangelo did this uh, did this sculpture and uh, the uh, sculpture is of David from the Bible, but the hands on David are uh, that of Michelangelo, which I find equally as fascinating. It, I mean, this is just such an incredible thing. I uh, never in my life would have thought that I would be standing right here and uh, and here I am on my uh, 59th birthday. Woohoo! Happy birthday to me.
Hey, darling. So we made it to our destination for my birthday dinner, Trattoria. <laughs> okay, Shani. Yeah. So, uh, brought me out to Trattoria for my birthday dinner, and I'm just uh, wondering what's on the menu for me. Okay, surprise me. So, happy birthday to me on my way. Bless your heart. Got me the tray. Florentine style, foreign style. So, um, I'm gonna just dig in and enjoy the living heck out of this. Happy birthday to me. Now, if anybody knows the significance of these pink. Handkerchiefs on locks are please share. It reminds us of the missing and murdered indigenous women in Canada. 